The magnificence is the most significant update for the Galaxy S24 Ultra has already been officially revealed, and it's the Snapdragon Agent 3. On October 24th of this year, Qualcomm will announce the S24 series, which will include their next flagship processor. This announcement is almost a few weeks earlier than their previous one. Judging from the tagline, cash the next wave of mind-blowing innovation, Qualcomm undoubtedly has big plans for the 2023 next-generation flagships, and this is entirely consistent with what the leaks are indicating, which is that the 8 Gen 3 could end up being a pretty monster upgrade over the 8 Gen 2. Not only that, but we also have our second piece of official news for the week, which really concerns the unveiling of the foldables. Although no specific date was given, it is anticipated to happen on July 25th or July 26th. According to the president of Samsung, it will take place in South Korea for the first time in years. We also have some unique information on the Galaxy S24 Ultra's camera. This information was provided by Galaxy Club, who have a solid track record. According to their sources, Samsung may switch out the 3x optical zoom lens with a new 5x optical zoom sensor. We don't yet know what kind of zoom sensor this is in addition to the 10x periscope zoom. This is it may truly be the continuous zoom that can run from 3x to 5x level or it can simply be a conventional 5x lens, but for anything below 5x Samsung is reportedly creating a new technology known as ISO Cell Zoom and ISO Cell Zoom Pro. Although nothing is official yet and many things may still change, one thing that is consistent across these leaks is that the 3x lens is being replaced with something better. It will essentially use the primary 200 megapixel camera sensor for those lesser zoom factors without sacrificing any quality. Last but not least, Ice Univer claims that the strange model number we saw on the Galaxy handset in the Geekbench database is really for a Galaxy S23 Ultra with an Exynos 2300 processor. Samsung won't be distributing this model to the general public. It may only be used for internal development testing until Exynos becomes better to the point where Samsung releases it officially, which is anticipated to occur sometime in 2025. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.